everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Tonight I have something really, really fun planned. If you know me, you know how much I love a charcuterie board. I'm always making different ones. I'm always playing around with different recipes and different things to put on them. But I also love sweets. Sweets are one of my favorite things in the universe. So one night I had a company coming over and I said, oh my God, what if I do a sweets charcuterie board and that's what I did. So tonight I'm gonna recreate it for you guys and I'm gonna show you just how to do it. This is perfect for a girl's night, a romantic evening with a little bottle of wine. The pairings are awesome, some fruits, some chocolates. We have white chocolate, dark chocolate, some caramel, cookies and we're gonna garnish it with mint. Make sure that you guys have fun with this. Honestly, this is what I love about charcuterie boards is that you don't have to do them right. There's no right way to do them and you can mix all of your favorite things at once. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you how to make a sweets charcuterie board. Now I have a little hosting tip for you, something that I do myself. This is not an official charcuterie board. It's actually a cutting board from Target, but it ran a little bit smaller. And obviously when I don't have many people coming over or I wanna make a little tiny charcuterie board, this is what I use instead of one of the massive ones. So that's what I'll be using tonight because you know, only a couple people. Here is what you're gonna need. First up, you're gonna need some almonds. They always look really, really nice on a board. Nuts are really great to put on a charcuterie board because it's really nice to balance out everything. Because we're doing a sweets charcuterie board, I did the roasted salted almonds because sweets and salty go so well together. And it's just a great balance to kind of have something a little bit savory as well as sweet on the board. Next up, I have my favorite, my flips, white chocolate covered strawberries. These are another perfect balance to the board because obviously they're sweet with the chocolate, but they're salty and crunchy with the pretzel. So these are like the perfect addition to your sweet charcuterie board. I am like a berries girl through and through. I love fruit a little bit more than vegetables. And I just love berries. Berries are always my go-to and I feel like they pair so well with chocolate, especially strawberries with dark chocolate, blackberries with white chocolate. And obviously strawberries are just sweet in themselves and they're good with even just whipped cream. Matt fed me strawberries on our first date together. So maybe I'm just a little biased to strawberries, but they honestly look so pretty as well on the board. So I like a lot of color on my boards and to really like make a nice presentation and obviously strawberries just look so pretty. Oh, the most important part of your board, chocolate. My favorite thing in the universe, um, me and Matt's favorite chocolate is Ghirardelli. So I did some dark chocolate, white chocolate caramel, and milk chocolate caramel. Again, caramel is like one of my favorite things on the face of the planet. So had to include some chocolate and caramel in there as well. It would not be a sweet charcuterie board without it. Some cookies, these are like the old school little like cookie straws. I love these. I like to have a couple different like heights on my charcuterie board. Some things a bit smaller, some things a bit bigger, longer, shorter. So um, I really like like the way this kind of garnishes the board. And for an actual garnish, you will need some mint leaves. Honestly, they just kind of freshen up everything. You have a lot of salty and savory and sweets. This is a good way to just freshen up everything. You don't really get a flavor from the mint, but they look fabulous on the board and they're just a perfect little garnish to kind of give more color. So sometimes it's easier to start with like the biggest thing. So obviously I feel like my star of the board is gonna be my chocolate because duh, how would it not be? So I'm gonna take my milk chocolate and kind of just, it's a little broken one, that's all right. Kind of just spread them out evenly so they take up like a good chunk of the board. It's always a little overwhelming to start with a charcuterie board because when you have so many ingredients, you don't know what you wanna start with, but always start with something and then you can always fill in around it. So I'm gonna start with this chocolate, just plating it where I see fit. It's big, you can elongate it, have the chocolates going out. And then as I put them on, you can probably already see like the spaces that we're gonna be filling in. Doesn't have to be anything neat and perfect. The best part about a charcuterie board is it's anything that you want. Things are kind of just thrown on there. With a charcuterie board, no matter what it is, you're always gonna wanna fill in all the available space on the board. And don't be afraid to like pile stuff on and overlap things, cause to me, that's what looks best. Now we can take some of our nuts, start breaking stuff up. 
and this is how easy it is. You don't need any skill in the kitchen whatsoever. You don't have to be a baker. You don't have to be a chef. Woo, this already looks so good. I love it. Let's take some blackberries. And again, just pile up, take up all that available space on the charcuterie board, overflow things, pile things, layer things, because people pick at it anyway. So obviously your perfect charcuterie board, the one that's Instagrammable in the beginning, will not be toward the end of the night because obviously that's what you want. You want your guests enjoying it and you're gonna hope to refill it a few times. That means people are enjoying it. Get some pretzels around. balance of like the strawberries and the raspberries the reds kind of taking over that middle white chocolate and oh my god if i were a guest i would love my raspberries kind of dripping on the dark chocolate because that's one of my favorite combinations like in the whole world dark chocolate raspberry Woo. and again like i said i love the different heights of things and you have you know a lot of soft fruits and I just love like a little crunch and something just a little bit taller on the plate you can kind of tuck those in I did like kind of break some of them in half so they fit a little bit better and you know you have some people that just want to pick they don't really want full-size things these little cookie straws always remind me of when my Yaya, Grandma in Greek, used to pick me, my cousin Claire, and Ava up from school, in elementary school. And every single day, we used to go to Barnes & Noble, where they had Starbucks, and Starbucks used to carry these little cookie straws. We were obsessed with them, and I honestly, I still am. And that's why they just have to be on this board. So, um, Every time I have them, they just remind me of that and brings back some good memories, being young. And literally in under 10 minutes, you have a beautiful board, Instagrammable, guest worthy. You look like a chef. I mean, it is just fabulous. Look at all the choices that your guests have. The whole board is covered. And again, this is literally my cutting board. I mean, who else can make a cutting board look this good? Just saying. And of course, in true Alexa fashion, I completely forgot to add the mint leaves to the end of my board. So just remember, they do make a great garnish. So I hope you don't forget them on your board. Okay. Um, oh God, this is not for you. Okay. No, no, no. Shh. Just for a minute and then we will give you something. Just give me one second. And just like that, our charcuterie board is done. It's gorgeous. Our guests are on their way over. I like to put out some little plates, some napkins, kind of make it a whole presentation in the middle of our island. Don't forget, put out a little bottle of wine or champagne, some wine glasses, and look how inviting this looks. Like, don't you wanna be my guest? <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you liked this little recipe, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more charcuterie boards and recipes. And leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite things to put on a charcuterie board are. And maybe I'll try yours. 